So as of right now, the head of the table in Universe 7 amongst mortals for most people is Black Freezer. Now, some people may contend that and we'll get into those characters who may contend that soon. But Black Freezer seems to be the preeminent threat in any upcoming arc in Dragon Ball Super. And even Goku, with his calm ultra instinct, perceivably hasn't caught up to him yet as of chapter 103. Now, naturally, Goku has grown in strength via training on Beerus's planet in what seems to be over a year's worth of training, as well as the fact that he seems to have got back to keeping his heart calm, as we saw against Gohan in chapter 102 and 103 of the Dragon Ball Super manga, in his silver-haired state. But as we saw on Planet Granola, ultimately, Black Freezer managed to one-shot a true Ultra Instinct Goku that had surpassed the uncalm Ultra Instinct we saw in that Arc and Ultra Ego Vegeta at the same time. It was the very definition of soloing your opponents. But the question that keeps propping up now in the Dragon Ball community is can Black Freezer solo all of them? All the other mortals in Universe 7. Of course, we're not counting Beerus as part of this. He's a god of destruction, a god, and of course, therefore, by extension, Whis. And we already know that, according to Jump, Black Freezer isn't at Beerus' level yet anyway. But in regards to all the other mortals, I'm talking the likes of Piccolo, Vegeta, Broly, Gohan, Goku and Vegeta as well, maybe even Granola, maybe Maerus, maybe Android 17. Could he beat them? Obviously not in one shot because there's too many of them. He only has two arms and one tail and two legs. But ultimately, could he beat them all within one hit? consecutively without response. So people love to go from one extreme to another in the Dragon Ball power scaling fandom. Some people believe that Black Freezer is only slightly stronger than a current Ultra Instinct Goku, whereas other people believe that he could take on an Ultra Fusion as of chapter 103. Now, with Black Freezer, I've said before, it's perfectly viable that he could only be, say, a minimum two times stronger than Ultra Instinct Goku, even though his performance over Vegeta and Goku was completely dominating. Based on traditional power scaling, we've seen plenty of times, quite consistently in fact, that a two times multiplier of raw power is enough to basically achieve the feat that we saw Black Freezer did over Ultra Ego Vegeta and True Ultra Instinct Goku, with the caveat of him actually doing it to two people at once, I guess you can say. In fact, you could even go a bit further and say consistently, actually, there's been percentage differences that have provided us with dominant showings or almost one to two shot finishes. Now, usually when power skating, especially when doing a verse battle situation, you lowball both the characters as much as you can and you pit those two lowballs against each other. Now, you can mention a mid ball or a high ball, but usually the low ball, the lowest common denominator, is ultimately the closest guarantee of what their strength is. That doesn't mean it can't be higher, guys, chill out, but it just means you can be more sure of your bet on that character's strength with that low ball. But as I've also mentioned, whilst I don't think it's the low ball, I have prognosticated that he may be around God Gogeta levels simply based on the fact that he wants to surpass all Saiyans, he wants to surpass what Broly is capable of, and he would have took that into account during his 10 years worth of training in a time chamber and maybe would have calculated how strong he would need to be. Of course, that doesn't mean he can take out Fusion, but I just believe personally that Fusion is being saved for an ultimate antagonist rather than somebody who's probably only going to serve as a temporary antagonist. And I believe it would also take into account the Blue Fusion theory of Blue Fusion being at Beerus's level. And if he's at God level, that would make him quite close to Beerus. But that's if Blue Fusion theory still is relevant. Let me know your thoughts on that down in the comment section. But as I said, it's hard to pin where Black Freezer's power is actually at. We just know he's significantly stronger than Goku and Vegeta from the Granola arc, and he's still stronger than a complete Ultra Instinct Goku from Chapter 103. But how much stronger? How much did Goku close that gap on him with training? Of course, you could always say, well, maybe Freezer's trained as well. But we'll base this on Freezer really that we saw in the Granola arc, because he seems to have to take his time out of what he's doing as an emperor to then go and train in order to focus on his training. So it's possible that he actually hasn't had the time to do that because he might have been busy and he might already feel that he's stronger than them anyway. Now this may be specific to the fact that he was sparring with Gohan Beast in chapter 102 and 103 so he could keep his heart calm because Gohan wasn't essentially trying to kill him like Gas was. So could a calm Ultra Instinct Goku stop Black Freezer from one-shotting him? I think with the extended 
abilities of mastery of self movement, the dodge hacks, the speed hacks that you get with the silver haired state, which we know is the better form of ultra instinct over true ultra instinct, then the speed difference might be able to help him evade the power of Frieza a little bit longer. Of course, it will only serve as somewhat of a bit of an equalizer to Frieza's superior strength and power. Just on a side note, obviously we know that Frieza might have other abilities. We're just basing this off what we saw and what we know he has in chapter 87. But Goku's newfound speed in a calm hearted Ultra Instinct may help him evade Frieza's power. Then of course we've got Ultra Ego Vegeta. Vegeta would want to destroy Frieza so he'd have no problem turning up the destruction mindset that's needed for Ultra Ego. But obviously as far as we're concerned and as far as we know he probably still has the damage amp hacks which is a double-edged sword really for ultra ego vegeta if freezer can land on him then basically he could just override the hacks that vegeta has and just knock him straight out vegeta personally in terms of styles makes fights against a stronger opponent like black freezer is probably worse off than even goku is because goku's speed hacks allow him to at least dodge potentially some of black freezer's shots then of course we've got orange piccolo who we know at power level wise is somewhere relevant to goku and vegeta but he's not been stated to have any hacks but he is a Namekian he does have quite a lot of magic and abilities anyway given his Namekian biology and whilst he may learn how to better utilize these abilities or learn some new abilities in his new orange form at the moment orange piccolo just really stands to be a raw power up from what we've seen before and i don't think he's going to cause black freezer any problems with his power level granola is at a pretty similar power level and we saw what black freezer did to a person that was stronger than him in zombie gas unless piccolo and granola literally stand at the side charging up their attacks their offensive wouldn't have much impact on black freezer's durability what about android 17 well let's face it he gets one shotted by black freezer at the moment he has had more time to train since the Morowak and he was already stronger than Ultimate Gohan back then. I'm just a fanboy so I wanted to bring him into the equation. But he does have infinite energy, a great strategist. We'll get onto strategies in just a moment. So maybe you could make something happen. No, I'm just capping. Anyway, other characters that may cause actual problems. Broly, as of now, he can turn Super Saiyan. In his regular Super Saiyan state, I do not think he'll cause Black Frieza any problems. If he can hypothetically go back into his full power Super Saiyan state or legendary Super Saiyan as some people call it, then yes, he is a massive problem for Black Frieza. Whilst he won't have the fighting technical capabilities and know-how against Black Frieza, we do know he has insane levels of durability. I don't think Black Freezer would be able to one-shot him in that state. And we also know Broly has insane levels of endurance on top of his durability, so he can definitely take a beating as we saw against Gogeta Blue. But obviously in terms of soloing all, Freezer just has to beat them. Maybe it might take a bit longer, but could he still do it? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Then of course, there's Gohan Beast. Now, full extent Gohan Beast, which is what people are referring to Gohan from chapter 103 against Ultra Instinct Goku, has natural raw speed levels that surpass that of even calm-hearted Ultra Instinct Goku's reaction speed and speed hacks. So therefore, Gohan in terms of his natural raw power levels must be also significantly higher than current Ultra Instinct Goku. Obviously we know Goku uses Ultra Instinct to somewhat equalize that greater raw power level, but it still is a mark to Gohan's actual raw power. So full extent Gohan Beast, just like Black Freezer really, could be anywhere upwards of a couple of times Ultra Instinct Goku, as we saw Gohan did knock Goku out of his Ultra Instinct form in one shot. Even Gas didn't achieve that. The only other person we've seen achieve that was Whis. So the difference between Gohan Beast and a calm-hearted Ultra Instinct Goku as of chapter 103 is greater than that of Gas versus an uncalm silver-haired Ultra Instinct Goku from chapter 84 and 85. And we also know now that Gohan Beast can use the Special Beam Cannon, which has been shown in the past to have a greater power amping ability than even the Kamehameha. Now I've stated in the past, I believe Black Freezer due to experience would probably beat Gohan. However, Goku did state that Earth is now safe with Gohan Beast there, and this is as of chapter 103, and Freezer is a threat to Earth. So maybe Goku is telling us something there. And last but not least, there is Mayrus, who is a former angel. His ultra instinct, at least as at the beginning of the Granola Arc, was better than that of Goku's ultra instinct. I wouldn't be surprised if it still is. He is now immortal. Does he still possess his angelic power level or raw power? That's unknown. But if he does, 
then it really depends on how you scale him against Moro because Moro did copy his abilities and gain his power. But some people believe that Mayrus with a halo is actually the most powerful version of Mayrus and Moro only copied a lesser version of Mayrus that didn't have his halo out. So let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments section. But he also knows Ultra Instinct. So the three questions I've got, does Frieza one-shot each and every one of them consecutively? Can Frieza beat them all even if he can't one-shot them all? And can a strategy help them actually defeat Black Frieza if they all work together? So the first question, can Frieza one-shot them all? Well, I believe if you lowball all of the characters and highball Frieza, then yes, I believe Black Frieza could one-shot them all. But it's a bit unfair that we're lowballing all of them just to hi and highballing Frieza. However, is that necessarily required if they aren't all lowballed and Frieza is highballed? Well, I think his biggest problem really would be Gohan Beast. The rest of them, I certainly think he can defeat. Calm Ultra Instinct would make it hard for him to defeat. Mayrus, if he's highballed, would potentially be stronger than him, if anything, given him that he's a former angel and he's maintained that power. But that's based on the Mayrus theory I just talked about. Orange Piccolo, Granola and 17, they're all getting soloed. Ultra Ego Vegeta, maybe if he stands at the side and lets Piccolo, 17 and Granola beat him up so he gets damage amps, then maybe he could get in the fight. Just kidding. Vegeta's getting soloed. I don't see what he can do to really stop Freezer from winning. Ultra Instinct Goku could use evasion and hopefully Freezer ties out. And then he can exploit openings. Broly is a problem to put down quickly. If he goes full power, then he's a major problem. Who else have I missed? Anyway, so he could beat them all once again if they're all lowballed, but I think if you highball them all as well as highballing Frieza, even so, Gohan Beast is causing him a massive problem. If he's fighting them all at the same time, there's others that could distract him whilst Gohan really gets to full power. But we're getting into strategy now. So if they all strategized and fought together, that's seven verse one in this case. I know it's a bit unfair to consider the likes of Granola and Mavis as part of this as they likely wouldn't get involved, but Piccolo's got the special beam cannon, Gohan's got the special beam cannon, Granola's got his sniping ability, 17 might cause momentary distractions with good use of shields as we saw a little bit against Jiren, he's also quite smart, you know I just want 17 to be in there. Anyway, Ultra Instinct Goku might take Freezer a moment or two to defeat and give the others a chance to power up attacks, Ultra Ego Vegeta might get Freezer talking and slow him down that way, to be honest I don't know what Vegeta could do even strategy wise. Maybe you'd have to stand at the side charging up a final flash. Ultra Ego is really effective against those who are of similar levels of power to him that he can actually withstand their damage because then it makes him stronger. That's the benefit of Ultra Ego. But if Freezer's stronger enough to basically wipe him out in one shot, Ultra Ego does nothing for him. But also, as we saw against Kid Buu, he can actually take a beating and keep somebody distracted if he needs to be. So I guess that's his plan in this strategy. Also, Broly can take a hell of a beating as well, so Broly could definitely delay Freezer. Gohan Beast might be enough on his own to actually challenge Black Freezer anyway, but with all these distractions and all these martial arts geniuses and strategists, as well as ranged attacks from characters that can use amping techniques, I don't believe Freezer will be able to beat them all at one time. In fact, I feel that's one, one of the reasons Freezer won't attack them all now is because that if multiple characters work together, then it probably wouldn't come out the victor, as well as the fact that Saiyans usually evolve during a fight. And just to make it clear, if you lowball all of the characters, Freezer certainly wouldn't be able to solo all of them either. Any other characters that are worth mentioning that would cause many problems? Majin Buu, He's got his magic, but power-wise, he's nowhere near that level. I know I've stuck 17 and it's a bit hypocritical of me, but also possibly Oob. He's just not ready yet. So to conclude, if you lowball all of the other characters and downplay them as much as possible, and you highball and wank Freezer, Freezer could certainly solo them all. If not, I think he's having a difficult time taking them all out at once. Anyway, this was a requested video. I think that's a great idea. I enjoyed covering this. Let me know if there's anything you would like me to cover down in the comments section. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Some really big videos coming up. A very big, big video coming up at the end of the month that you will not want to miss. Smash a giant thumbs up on the video. Lend me your energy. Until next time, Ad Astra.